In today's video, we're going to try to drill through rocks using wooden sticks. Guys, today we are joined by Kevin, who wanted to try out an experiment with us. And so we've got him on, and we've got some supplies. But first, Kevin, tell us all a little bit about yourself. All right. Well, what's up, everybody? So my name's Kevin. I'm a former NASA rocket scientist. So I spent a few years designing those spaceships that travel to other planets. And then I fell in love with educating people about space and science. So now that's what I do. And when I found out about the King of Random, I'm like, all right, if there was a caveman building a Mars rover, because we got one going there right now, how would we build the drill? We got sticks, we got some powders. I think that's the number one problem that a caveman would face <laughs> yes. in trying to get to, uh, to build a Mars rover. Here's the basic idea. We want to see if it's possible to drill through a rock using a stick and maybe some sand as an abrasive. Is it going to be possible to get through and how long is it going to take us? So a little bit of uh, advanced technology with the least advanced technology is what we've got going on here. We've played around with some of this before. Callie showed us how to make a bow drill to make fire and that was difficult, but we did get it to work. It did, it took a while. A lot of trial and error with that one. I think there's a good chance we're gonna run into some of that same feeling of trial and error and some of the same difficulties here, but the idea is if we want to drill into a rock, can we do that using the most primitive tools that exist, namely a stick and Abrasive. Uh, dirt. Yeah, we've got four different types of sand here. We have regular playground sand. We Colored have playground this sand. Slightly sand. fancier play. This is still, I think, just sand, but it's filtered a little more, so it's more uniform in size. It doesn't have anything on it about what type of sand it is, uh, so it's probably a silica base. Then we've got two others that are a little more fancy. We went and stopped by the Water Jet Channel and grabbed some of their Garnet Abrasive. This is what gets shot out with the water at crazy high speeds to cut through metal and rock and kind of whatever else you want to cut through. This right here is a synthetic diamond abrasive and my hope is that this will be very, very hard and cut through the rock better. I haven't tried it yet. Now, it might be a little hard for our Mars aspiring caveman to find some synthetic diamond abrasive, but we'll just say he got really lucky and happened to be next to a diamond mine and broke up some of the diamonds. Basically, we can just start trying this. We've got these river rocks, which are obviously sedimentary, and then we've got probably- Granite? Granite or similar. It's a piece of countertop and we're gonna see if we can drill through these things. So I went outside and I grabbed a couple of these rocks. So if I'm like a true caveman, I'm not gonna have clamps or vices. I'm not. So I got some bricks. So I am just gonna wedge my rock between these bricks and drill it that way. I am going to wedge my rock between this clamp and the edge of the workbench because I am a more civilized caveman. I'm just going straight up. I've got the bench vise. I've been at this for almost 20 seconds and there's no visible divot in the rock. I'm, I'm very disappointed in how long it's taking. <laughs> so I've gone ahead and sharpened mine to a point. I don't know if it's going to help, but we're going to see. All right, I give there up with go. the tiny stick already. Oh, really? Yeah, no, that was not Nothing. working. I'm taking the, the last part of yours. Well, that's all right. So I'm going to carve a little point, but it's not going to be like a super point. I just want to create a little bit of a taper so it's not truly blunt. So I basically ground my sand down to a powder. I've lost all the big pieces here. We're just pulverizing sand. Basically, on rocks. Something that the Mars rover drill does, mm -hmm. it's a percussion drill, so it hammers. It goes 30 times a second to pulverize the rock before coming up. Now it's made out of steel. This is a wood dowel, so I don't think I can pulverize, but maybe we'll just see what happens. All right. Upgrading. Oh, yeah, that, Upgrading. That scratched the surface. Oh, I moved my rock. <laughs> I'd say start with this much stick because you don't need to like a big stick. have the space for it. <laughs> I just didn't want to cut my stick anymore. I needed it for when I was doing what you were doing. I'm the most advanced caveman. Let's see if this has done anything different. It is or is not? I was seeing if it is. And? No. On mine, I'm not noticing a difference, but then again, I've been trying different types of methods. I was trying to grind it down and then smooth. I think I've polished my rock a little. Let's try the next sands. Mm -hmm. Cause yeah, I think I have a slightly shiny spot. Move up, you got the green sand? I'm trying the green. I don't actually think the green is any harder, but I, you know, we have it, so let's try it. And it might be a harder sand. Find it. 
All right, we may upgrade. I don't have like a good divot, but I do have a divot. Like there is a noticeable spot. So right there is where I've been drilling. Oh, that's a circle. You can see sort of the curved edge on that side. It's not a lot, okay. but there is something. Now I've been using the drill. So to get the same effect, I think you'd need like three people like pushing on and turning the stick at once. Or one person taking many, many hours. I want to try yeah, you can seeing take that. what kind of mark I can make on this thing. That's definitely a mark on the surface. It's not a great mark. It's not a drilled hole, but we can see that I am affecting the rock to some level. So I want to try just having a lot more sand all around it. So as sand moves out of the way, more sand just moves into the way. And I'm traveling. This is what I was concerned about with the smooth surface. So there's like nothing here. Like this is the divot I've been working towards and nothing. So I'm actually gonna switch over to the brick. I'm gonna see how that works and just squeeze the sand together and try and just keep it in one spot. I think I was actually starting a fire on my <laughs> Yep, you it's start burnt. burning it, sure enough. Ooh, brick is a lot softer, so. I I'd... do have a divot right there. You can see where I was getting it in there. I don't think that the diameter of the stick is really gonna do anything for us. Well, I have a divot. It's not a good divot, but it's something. So I wanna try moving up from the green play sand Mm -hmm. to the garnet powder and see yeah. if that makes a difference. It should be a harder abrasive and able to cut through the rock more. Let's find out. My bit device is stuck, so I will upgrade. I want to find 5 8 inch. All right, so 5 8 inch, this is the size of the drill on the Mars rover. Just to give you some perspective. This is how big it is drilling into the rocks there. It's still not going quickly, but I do think that the garnet abrasive is making a difference. It's smoothed out. There was some stuff like embedded in the rock that didn't want to be worn away with the, the play sands, but it's just worn smoother with the garnet. So certainly not a quick process. Oh, there's nothing noticeable here. So the brick's not showing any progress. I think I need the power tool. I think that's the only thing that's going to work. I bet if you spent all day on it, you'd find something. Possibly. You'd get something. So I've started boring into it and I can tell because both on my drill right here and on the rock I've got this gray. It's not from the garnet. So it's actually starting to wear it away, which is good. Smoke. Ha! Give it a divot and that's a warm brick now. <laughs> that works so much better. There you go. I have a real carved out dip into my rock, but it's Slow. Yeah, you can I'm push just gonna it in. push, yeah. Push it in. Yep. So obviously, I'm gonna need to create a substantial hole to make known that it's actually working. You're taking the wood away. I am. I'm gonna look at this right here. This is a good example of the, the slow progress, but you can see sort of a color difference. This is just the garnet powder by itself and all around the rock where I've been drilling, there's a lot more gray and that's the rock dust itself being introduced. You can see how much of that there is. So this rock is definitely being worn down. Let me get all the extra around and blow the dust out of the little divot. That's our divot so far. Real progress happening, slow progression though. So I've created something like a little volcano mound. Okay. Around it so that my powder stays within this circle and it kind of just keeps recirculating itself. So there is substantial progress. So what I'm learning with the brick is that obviously it's made of a bunch of little tiny rocks with stuff to hold it together. So I've exposed the little rocks and the easy stuff to come out is what's holding it together. But. The clay comes out, but the rocks yeah. are hard to get through. Uh huh. Real, but still snail's pace progress. In fact, <laughs> the snail will be leaving me in the dust. Ha! <laughs> it took a long, long time. This is not a quick and easy process, and I was using a stick in a drill. How many days ago did we start this? 
I don't know. It's been a, a while. while. But we took a break for a while, and then I came back and spent another little while getting through like the last 10% of the rock and like opening the hole up enough that a stick can actually fit through. But this was 100% drilled through with wooden stick and our garnet powder sand. My gosh. Kelly and I collaborated on this one. That's as far as we got. And then we didn't have the tenacity as Nate. So we're like, We also had a works. thicker rock. We got angry. It's true. So I would say, yes, this is possible. A few things. One, I think this is actually a pretty hard rock. Even as rocks go, it's not like as hard as some crystals, obviously, but there are much softer types of rock that maybe we should have focused on first. Two, I was using the garnet powder, which maybe is a harder sand than some that's available. I think we were having about the same amount of progress with every kind of sand, and then yeah. maybe the diamond was going a little faster, we just didn't have as much of that to just Tiny little packet pouring of it on. Oh yeah, Nate's the only one who used that, so no diamond sand. That is maybe, true. Maybe that's, that's the, the only reason I was able to get through. That is a rock drilled through with a stick. It is possible. Not sure why you would do it, but you can. I do think it also lends some uh, believability to the idea that if you wanted a palm rock for starting a fire, especially if you found a rock that already kind of had a divot, mm -hmm. you could make it bigger and better. Although it probably makes more sense to just do that with another rock instead of a stick. So unless you're trying to get like all the way through in a fairly narrow hole, this is a lot of work. Thanks again to the Water Jet Channel for getting us some of this lovely, highly abrasive sand. It worked pretty well. I was very glad to have it, and it did work. This is like 95% of what got us through this stone. We'd love to do a collaboration with Water Jet Channel. If you guys have any good ideas of things you'd like to see us do together with them, please let us know. Guys, that's not all. We've always got more cool stuff for you to see. Go ahead and hit that button down there to subscribe to the channel so you never miss out on a good video, and we'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.